It's time now to get cooking. We are in the kitchen with Suzanne Clark of livingacreativelife.net. You're making us a super easy family dinner. Yes, you know, I am going to show you how to make a family favorite, you know, Alfredo. Everybody loves Alfredo. And today we're gonna jazz it up a little bit with some, like a shrimp scampi. Oh, so I good. like it. Yeah. Okay, so where are we starting? Well, I have a stick of butter and it's been melting in this pan. And I'm gonna add some crushed garlic. Now this is about five cloves and before or you think, oh, that's too much. You'll see how we're using it throughout the recipe and it, it's really not as much as you think. I love garlic, so, so I'm like, I bring it too. on, bring <laughs> so it on. So I'm just gonna kind of let it just cook for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna add some peeled and the vein shrimp. Now these are pretty big, what size are these? These are large shrimp here and um, I'm just gonna toss them in oh, this garlic so butter. Can you smell that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? And you know, shrimp takes such a short time to cook, maybe just about two minutes. We don't want to cook them too long, just as soon as they start turning pink. Now, while that's cooking, on another note, you actually already did a pan full of fettuccine. Yes, I just boiled it as the directions said in the box, but you want to have that ready to go. Okay, so that's ready to go. Our shrimp are now done cooking. It's been a couple minutes. And so I'm just going to take them out of the sauce, but I'm going to leave that butter and garlic behind in the pan. That's important because that's going to be part of the flavoring to our Alfredo okay, sauce. Can we just eat this bowl though? Because <laughs> Absolutely. I know oh, it, it smells, smells so, so good. good. And you seriously could stop here and, you know, just serve this as is with some vegetables. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and take it a step farther because everybody loves good. You're making your own Alfredo. Yes. So I'm going to use some cream cheese and this is going to be the secret to making this nice and creamy. Now, what's kind of strange about this is as we start it, it's going to look kind of funny. Like it's going to look like you're doing something wrong. It kind of looks lumpy, a little curdly. It's okay. Um, all of a sudden, it just smooths out and it looks delicious. So you just got to let it kind of cook mm -hmm. down. And, and this just takes a short amount of time? Yeah, just a couple minutes. And you'll know when it's nice and smooth. But to kind of speed things up right now, I am going to go ahead and add some milk. Okay. Not heavy cream like the regular recipe Oh, good. So uses. this is a little bit low calorie. Yeah, but we're not going to use the egg yolks. We're not using heavy cream. The cream cheese is a secret. And by the way, you can use um, the low fat, the new fencho. Oh, as well. Okay. I'm using the whole fat right now, but you can use that as well. So this is what you're using, but again, you can use the low fat. It'll work just the same. Absolutely. Okay, great. And so we're just going to cook this until all the uh, cream cheese is melted. And then we're also going to add some flavoring. We're going to add, or seasoning rather, we're going to add some salt and pepper. Now I like pepper in here. I think pepper kind of gives it a nice mm -hmm. little kick. You can always add some fresh ground at the end if you like to, or if your family doesn't like the pepper, just don't add it, but you do need a little salt. Not too much though, because we're going to add some shredded Parmesan cheese. Oh, this yum. is gonna help tighten up the sauce and make it that nice cheesy texture that we're familiar with. So we're just gonna and put that, that just in. And that's just melting right away. Yeah, and we're just gonna keep on stirring this and, until it's all melted. And then when it's all melted, it's going to be nice and tight. And we're just going to pour it on top of our noodles. Okay. And then, Add the shrimp, stir then, it up. That's it. That's it's it. that easy. And then I think really, you know, a lot of people think that parsley is just for garnish, but it does kind of cut through the creaminess. And I think it's a really important part of that and dish. And you can add a little bit more Parmesan cheese on top yes, if you, you want. Yes, you can. You can just keep on going. I'm and okay with that. As decadent as you would like to be. But this is going to be, I'm going to say for sure, a family favorite. And it's so quick and easy to make. I love it. It is shrimp fettuccine alfredo. And you can find the recipe online at recipes.12news.com. You can also, of course, check out all of Suzanne's recipes, including this one at livingacreativelife.net.